Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solution. My name is Shubham Timri. So in today's session, we will discuss about executing a process work order in our Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing application. So as we already created a process work order and update our process work order in our earlier session. Now in today's session, we are executing a process work order in our Oracle Fusion Supply Chain Management Manufacturing application. So for that, let's go to our instance. Just click on navigator. Okay, scroll it down. So under navigator, we have supply chain execution. Under supply chain execution, we have task that is work execution. So just click on work execution. Okay. So here is the our manufacturing organization that is 430, which is for process manufacturing. Okay, so first we have to select our manufacturing organization 002 is for the discrete manufacturing and the 430 that is for our process manufacturing. Okay, now for creating a work order, just click on task list. First we have to create a work order, just click on manage work order. Okay, click on create icon. Okay, work method, we have two work method. First one is the process manufacturing and another one that is for the discrete manufacturing. Right now we are executing a process work order. So for that, we have to select our work method that is process manufacturing. Now the creation basis, okay. We have to select our creation basis, process name or prim from primary output. First, we just click on the show more icon, okay. So here process name, okay, let's select primary output. Okay, so in primary output, we have to specify our item, okay, or item over here. So just click on search icon. So select our item that is bulk supremo fitness string and item code that is 5080528. Okay. Just click on search. Okay. Yeah, here is our item. So just select our item. Bulk Supremo Fitness Ring. Okay. Now we have to specify the quantity for how much quantities we are creating a process work order. So let's say for 1000 quantity, we are creating a process work order. Okay. Okay. The process name, juice from concentrate, base quantity that is 1000. Okay, work definition name, that is the production line one, status like release, unreleased, okay. Just click on save and add it. Okay, so here it contains all the details like a start date, completion date. If you want to change your start date or completion date, you can change. Okay, here is the batch quantities, quantities. The work definition details and the completion details so all the details are over here the operation three operations first first one is our reconstitute second one is our mix and the last that is cool okay so in reconstitute we have three items in mixing we have one items okay the resources required for the constitute that is technicians and storage tank and the resources for our mixing that is technician and filtration tank and at the last for cooling point of view we have two resources that first one is the technician and second one is the refrigerated okay so okay we have different different outputs okay from reconstitute our output okay here is our mixing output and at the last our cooling output okay just click on save and close Okay, now we have to release our work order. So for that, just select the row, our work order. Okay, so first note down our work order on a notepad. Okay, let's open a notepad. Okay, so work order. Four thirty is nothing but our manufacturing organization and our work order number that is one zero three five. Okay, okay, so select the row for releasing our work order. So just select the row and just click on the release icon. 
so in this way you can release your work order if you want to release and pick material you can perform that action from over here okay if you want to preview your work order traveler report or generate extensible work order traveler report so you can generate from here okay now just click on our work order okay so here we have to change our completion type from automatic to manual okay so first just click on the operation tab under operation we have a reconstitute item so select our item in reconstitute okay okay operation sequence okay output that is organic waste product type that is byproduct product okay you can select the quantities okay the completion type okay right now we are changing completion type from automatic to manual completion sub inventory that is quality assurance okay, and all the details just click on okay click on save and close click on done now go to task list and click on the task that is a view dispatch list okay so here we have to search for work order save search application default okay, select all just click on search yeah here is our work order yeah work order 4301035 work order 4301035 yeah okay yeah okay now expand the our work order okay so we, here we have the completed quantity reject scrap okay now for report resource transaction just click on the icon here here manual reporting not required okay okay here no data display just click on the create icon here we can transaction type that is charge or reverse work center that is reconstitute okay so here we have to select our resources let's select our resources technician storage strength first we select the technician okay okay technician type that is labor activity that is the setup okay you can select in accordance to your use right now we are selecting our activity as setup basis that is very old unit of measure that is r required for 0.1 hour okay from two charge let's say for one yeah status that is all data required for the transaction is entered okay just click on save and close okay for report material transaction okay. and click on the icon manual reporting required here we have our required quantities who transact quantities secondary quantities available secondary unit of measure okay here we have to select our lot number okay for choose concentrate 59 bricks just select your lot number i think the 59 jc juice concentrator 59 okay so select your lot number for that now for our second one select the lot number as we select lot number you can see status yeah all data required for the transaction is entered yeah in both the rows all data transaction all data required for the transaction is in entered okay just click on save and close so in this way you can perform your manual reporting required yeah here yeah. manual reporting completed now click on the another icon that is for report output transaction so just click on the icon report output transaction manual reporting required okay so your status all data required is transit already entered okay let's change the data from 0 0.08 to 0.08 to transact quantity that is 1.08 zero eight okay expected that is 0 0.08 but to transact quantity that is 1.08 description type that is organic waste output type that is the byproduct 
okay so here we don't have any option for selecting a lot number okay okay just click on the icon save in close okay yeah after specifying our all the details for our report material transaction report resources transaction and at the last report output transaction now just expand the tab you have reported all the yeah just expand the tab okay so here we have quantities completed quantities that is 1000 now change your completed quantities from 1000 to 500 and just click on our quick complete icon okay if you want to send uh, an item for scrap okay just click on the quick complete okay so you have completed the quantity 500 gallon at operation 10 for the work order number that is 1035 the next operation is operation 30 at work center cool okay and you have scrapped the quantity 10 gallon at operation 10 for work order 1035 that is not sent for operation 30 at work center cool okay now expand the tab okay so first of all we have 1000 quantities okay so here is our 500 and remaining 490 and we sent our 10 quantities for this gap so total quantities that is 990 okay so here we have the quantities 490 quantities that is completed okay now if you want to change your details you can change it from here as well let's suppose if you want to change our data from completed to 490 to 400 let's say 400 quantities completed okay and just click on complete with details okay so here all the details like available to transact ready for transact that is 490 quantities for transaction type that is complete or for how much quantity we are transacting let's say for 400 okay so here operation transaction somebody shows all the details let's say complete first we have completed 500 and is scrapped that is 10 okay just click on the next here is the transaction date the, our work center that is reconstitute work center quantities that is thousand gallon so here is the 490 which is for available to transact 10 quantities is scrapped and at the last completed so total that is 1000 gallon just click on next okay okay that is required quantity to transact quantity that is 280 here all the details status all data is required for the transaction is already entered operation sequence number that is 10 here is our material that is filter water for our particular box operation okay if you want to specify your country of origin you can specify right now we are not specify our country of origin or inventory attributes okay just click on the next icon auto transact resources okay so all the details are over here okay so here are all the details just click on next if you want to specify your resource instance you can specify just click on save in close okay so you have completed the 400 gallon net operation 10 for the work order 431035 the next operation is operation 30 at the work center cool okay so here we have 900 quantities that is for our work center performing operation our cooling okay so here it contains all the details 900 quantities is in our work center that is cooling status that is ready and 90 quantities that is in our work center that is reconstitute okay item that is same okay now <clears throat> expand the second row and select 900 quantities and just click on the complete with details quantities that is 900 okay or item that is same total item that is thousand gallon work order total quantity that is thousand gallon but right now we are available to transact quantity that is 900 okay just click on next 
if you want to print label just enable the checkbox okay here we have operation status all the data is already entered in the system to run the quantity just click on the next okay so here it contains all the operation sequence number that is the 20 and the 30 okay all data is already entered like labor uh, our type of resources labor equipment labor equipment okay resources and all such details just click on next work center that is cooling work center okay product and our byproduct from bulk super deep fitness drink our process manufacturing we have two byproducts first one is our pulp and another one that is the juice sample okay so we'll collect our pulp at operation sequence 20 and we collect our juice sample at byproduct in form of output type that is byproduct at operation sequence that is 30 unit of measure that is for gallon okay first we have to specify the lot number first we have to specify the lot number for our 900 quantities at operation sequence number 30 okay so just select your operation just select your lot number let's say pk1002 is our lot number okay just yeah so in this way you can select your lot number okay just click on expand the row here we have sub inventory that is finished good sub inventory okay so first we have an operation sequence number 10 the sub inventory that is the our quality assurance but in case of operation sequence number 30 sub inventory that is finished good inventory okay so right now our item is at finished good inventory okay just click on yeah so here it contains all the inventory details if you want to specify your locator you can specify from here okay let's check the other details they okay yeah okay so here operation sequence 20 sub inventory that is pulp byproduct that is work in progress okay and at the last 30 operation sequence 30 juice sample which is in our particular quality assurance sub inventory okay so it, here it contains all the inventory details okay just click on the save and close icon okay so quantity 90 gallon has been completed at operation 30 for work order 431035 number of outputs completed into inventory that is three now just click on the tab okay let's change the completed quantity from 40 just click on complete with details okay complete with details just click on next okay click on next next just click on save and close okay now for 40 quantities let's say for 40 quantities if you want to specify your inspection result okay inspection details so for that just click on the item enter inspection details okay so here inspection details here it contains all the details okay like type that is working progress okay here we have to select our item let's say our item that is 5080 we click on search icon and select your item okay yeah okay just select our lot number and if you want to specify your inspection plan you can specify your inspection plan inspected by inspected person inspected date so here it contains all the details our work order number operation sequence number just click on okay type that is work in progress okay so here it contains all the details inspection details okay now here we have to add our characteristics just click on add icon so operation sequence first let's say for color okay let's say color click on search icon so first sequence is for the color let's say the result for our color is a value that is the 50 okay now add another characteristics 
and second characteristic that is the consistency for our fitness drink okay okay consistency okay unit of measure that is per unit okay consistency let's say 411 liters or consistency add another characteristic that is the sugar contained sugar contained in our particular item bulk supremo fitness ring how much sugar it contains okay so select our characteristics for inspection plan okay and the value that is 11 okay you can see over here as we fill the details the status that is pending but as we fill the correct data it gets changes from pending to completed okay it's completed it is completed okay so you can just click on save okay. so all details are completed the inspection has been saved for a particular work order at operation sequence 30 that is cooling just click on save and close Okay. so in this way you can perform your inspection plan you know any work order okay so in this way you can execute your process work order in our application thanks for watching the video thank you so much